Hi guys, it's Mama Do Dawn, and this channel is about all aspects of my financial life, from me being a single mom covering all the bills by myself to transitioning to splitting bills with a boyfriend, uh, me working at home, running my own small business, me paying off debt, all of it goes into this channel. Yesterday, I posted a video talking about what happened with my car lease in 2021 and and how things ended up there and then before that i posted a bunch of videos giving you guys month by month updates on all of the months that had happened in 2021 that i didn't cover which was all of them today i'm actually going to buckle all three of the last months together because not a ton happened in those months as you guys will see so we're going to cover october november and december all together and tell you guys about what I did in terms of debt during that time, how much money I made, and where my money kind of went to. My starting debt in the beginning of October 2021 was $29,610, and that is I had two loans. I have money that I owe my father, which is $4,680. That money is from quite a while ago now, from three years ago when I had gotten divorced and I was a single mom with a newborn baby and I needed to move to be closer to my family and he helped me do that and I am still trying to pay him back the money for that. And then the other loan I have is a car loan for $25,305 which I talked about yesterday if you want to learn more about that car loan slash used to be lease, how I ended up with it, why I ended up with it, and why I am still sitting on it right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go over a few little things with you guys for each month because I mean my budget and my income is relatively boring for the next three months. It was a lot of catch up. Like I had mentioned in a previous video in August I moved in with my boyfriend. It was actually more July but like officially I moved in in August and then my daughter started preschool around the same time we got a new puppy around the same time I was making some adjustments within my business from the advice of my boyfriend at that time and trying to just figure out how to manage my time appropriately and get everything done so my business was pretty steadily doing decent but not great and my budget had been lowered because um, my boyfriend was covering the mortgage and I was just covering all of the small bills. So I no longer had a rent payment, which was wonderful. And yeah, so let's just quickly go over a few things here. In October, I'll go ahead and just flash it up for you guys so you guys can see the numbers. But I'm not going to go through and read every single thing for all three months just because it seems a little tedious and nothing changed pretty drastically through those months. My budget was $1,290 for the month. My income, I made $2,160, which means I did have $868 extra dollars of wiggle room at that time. And my boyfriend had actually been pushing me to open an IRA account. Um, and I opened an SCP IRA, which is for self-employed individuals. And there's some like slightly different stipulations on how much money you can put into those accounts. Um, but pretty much the maximum that I would have been able to put in for uh, this year was about 2500 So actually 100% of my extra money for that month of October, the $868, went directly into opening that SEP IRA account. And it's just going to sit there. I did not put any money towards my car or the loan to my dad or anything that month. I just put that extra money into that. IRA because I kind of felt like I needed to prioritize that. I really do need to prioritize paying off my car, but just getting that SCP IRA set up and having money in it um, just felt like something that I really wanted to do with that extra money. So that is what I did. Okay, so now moving on to November where I get a little stupid admittedly. My budget was $1,600. And my income was $2,140, which means I had $540 extra, dollars, but I did not owe any money on my car that month, <clears throat> so I didn't pay any money on my car that month. $25,305 is what it stayed at, and then the loan to my dad also stayed the same at $4,680. Um, 
I ended up taking that extra money and I have not been able to do a nice Christmas for Charlotte. I have not been able to buy gifts for family members for a few years. I've been really working on paying off debt and prioritizing debt and I got all my small debts paid off and I said I want to take this extra money and buy Christmas things. So I spent my $540 on Christmas stuff. So probably not the brightest thing, probably not the best way I could have spent my money, um, but I've been extremely frugal. I had sacrificed that for three years. I had never given my daughter a very big or wonderful Christmas, and this Christmas it still wasn't big or wonderful. She only got three gifts, and two of them were under $30, but one was a nice $100 dollhouse, and then I was also just able to get nice little gifts for many of my family members who get me things, and it was it felt good to get those things. Again, not the smartest thing I've ever done with my money. Got a little stupid, but i had been working really hard to pay off debt for a really long time, and that is where that extra money ended up in November. Okay, so now that takes us to the month of December, where my budget was $1,480, and my income was 210 so I had about 500 and 20 extra dollars in my budget and that money actually went towards the travel costs of driving and getting a hotel in Kentucky for five days while my daughter saw her paternal side of the family. Um, I've honestly usually taken that out of like Christmas bonus extra income that I get from Amazon um, but the extra income that I'm getting from Amazon this December will go into my January budget and I'd actually really like to flip that into just buying more inventory and setting myself up to have a really good 2022. So I really won't be getting like a Christmas bonus um, this year, but the extra money, the wiggle room that I had in my budget did allow me to travel down to Kentucky and buy the things that I needed to buy here um, per the child support agreement without going into debt so that was quite nice but it didn't give me a lot of wiggle room to put extra money towards debt so the loan to my dad stayed the same at 4680 but my car loan did go down to $25,000 even which means my ending debt for the month of December 2021 and for the whole year of 2021 is $29,680 but if we go all the way back to January, my starting debt was $47,580, which means this year I was able to put $17,900 to my debt. In that time, I was able to pay off a phone that I had financed. I was able to pay off some medical debt. I was able to pay off a credit card. I was able to pay off my personal loan and I was able to finance my car in a way that if I do resell it sometime soon, um, I should have about $3,000 in equity in the car. So financially, I feel like I did pretty decently this year. There are obviously some times and some places where I could have done a little better and been a little smarter with my money, but the fact that I put almost $18,000, I mean, almost $20,000 to debt this year is pretty freaking amazing considering I've probably only made like 30,000. <laughs> my boyfriend obviously was extremely helpful. He was very motivating and very clear on the fact that debt was a problem that I needed to get out of. So I took that very seriously to have that accountability buddy was pretty life-changing. YouTube has been my accountability accountability buddy for a while. That's very hard to say. But having someone in person who's there, who's watching you spend your money, who's seeing how you're budgeting, who is asking questions and making you think twice about everything that you're doing financially is uh, very life-changing. Also, moving in with him and having the shared income aspect was super helpful. The fact that he pulled a lot of weight in terms of feeding my daughter and I quite a bit, you know, paying for a lot of the groceries, um, paying for a lot of the little fun things that we did that I typically would have tried to wrap into a kid budget. And he's really helped me reevaluate the way that I'm running my business and the things that I do on Amazon and other e-commerce platforms. And he's motivated me to take some risks that in the past I wasn't sure were very smart to do, but I trusted his opinion and he is studying accounting. So I feel like he does have some professional say in that. Um, and the risks that I have taken have paid off so far, and I'm going to continue to try to um, 
push those changes into my business over the next year and it'll be really interesting to see how that grows and and moves forward and that's really my recap for the entire year of 2021 um, if you want to see all the other months and everything that happened in those months i've posted those videos and i'm going to try to make some videos in the near future telling you guys about my plans for 2022 and get back onto doing the budget videos and all that life is freaking busy so it's hard sometimes to do that but i would really like to try and i am happy to be able to get on here and catch up with you guys and i hope you've enjoyed this little series and it's kind of gotten you up to where i am in life currently which is sitting on way less debt but still having debt and um, my business growing a little bit which is nice and me having a much smaller budget than i have in the past which is also very nice and just feeling a lot of financial stress being alleviated and having some positive changes in my life that i continue i hope continue into 2022 and i know that 2021 was a really hard year for a lot of people uh it's been a trying year for sure i have actually really enjoyed stepping away from social media i've stepped away from all aspects of social media really and it's made a huge change to my mental health and I feel really good I also my mental health has significantly improved with just being more in charge of my finances and no longer having that seemingly eternal burden on me seeing that I can do things I can make big changes and and make smart changes in my life is very motivating so hopefully that continues into the next year and I will try to be on with you guys. I kind of suck at making YouTube videos and staying on it, but I will try really hard to. And thank you so much for coming along and watching this little catch-up series. And that's really all I have to say. I've made all of these videos in two days, although they will be posted over a couple weeks. So I am a little exhausted of filming and editing, but I will try to be back on sometime very soon to get you guys caught up on what is going to happen and what my goals are for the future and how everything is going. So if you're interested in that, feel free to come back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.